Did you know that the geometric proof for the true value of pi expressed as a geometry called the Jane Pi Cross is actually embedded in the mountains of Peru called the Nazca Line. So you can see here that some people from the past thousands of years ago from Vimana craft actually carved this geometry from a high vantage point. This is celestial mathematics carved from an unknown source. And when we analyze all the lines, we see that the schematic of this diagram is exactly the same as the true value of pi. So this Jane Pi cross here, you can see that it's based on the double square root five geometry called the fairy one method, which is my main geometric discovery, is identical to the Nazca lines in Peru. Um, you can, this was actually given to us as a diagram by Eric von Daniken in 1998 when he wrote his classic book, The Arrival of the Gods. So it's quite amazing that this ancient knowledge is carved in stone. So here it is again, high up in the mountains of the Andes. And the similar schematic, the double square, is kind of suggested in the temple of Borobudur. In the, the design of the floor plan is based on sort of concentric squares. They're not actually, it's not a, it is like double square geometry. It's, um, when you look at the stupas, it goes 70, 35 meters high. And inside of that, you can see that there was um, 72 stupas. In this diagram here, you can see around the large central stupa, there were 72 smaller stupas and inside of each stupa of the 72 stupas, we have another Buddha. Um, I understand that um, there was some Muslim invasion that came and some culture came along and beheaded all the Buddhas. And you can see that they've re-glued all the heads of the Buddhas again. So they have kind of been restored. Um, yeah, so this is quite important that the, these, the stupa represents what we call the the formless world and we're interested in these celestial geometries because the ancient people were recording the knowledge of the gods whether it's about pi or phi and they remember they they put it into the memory of stone and structures and temples and high up on the mountains like in peru so it's quite um an amazing discovery when i realized that the very geometry of these ancient nazca lines were literally the geometry of how I created 3.144, the true value of pi.